Hey everybody, I'm back to show some more babies from the 2020 hatching season. Got some really, really cool stuff to show you here, so let's just get right down to it. Okay, this first clutch is from a Pastel Lesser Krypton bred to a Krypton pinstripe. So Krypton is the cryptic clown combo. And here's a Krypton pinstripe. These could be cryptics too, uh, pure cryptics. Um, I don't really know if there's any way to tell visually which is which yet. It's something I'm still kind of working out a little bit. And here's a Lemon Blast version of that. And then here's a nice Pastel Clown. And here's a nice Pastel Clown as well. Really nice bold patterning on them. I don't think that has anything to do with the cryptic uh, influence because I believe that these are just normal pastel clowns. But still really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go through these a little bit quick because I have six clutches that I wanna show you, so. Okay, so now the coolest ones out of this clutch are coming up right here. These are awesome, I think. This is a lesser cryptic. I don't think there's anything else in that one other than lesser and cryptic. Or it's, well, this could be a lesser krypton too. So both parents were visual kryptons. And um, so they both have the clown gene in them and they both have the cryptic gene in them. Both the parents do. So this is either a cryptic or a krypton. Look at those white sides. Okay. If you think that one's cool, wait till you see this guy. That's what happens when you throw pastel into it. Pastel, out of all the more common genes that I've thrown into the cryptic krypton project, pastel actually seems to have the biggest influence. Look at the difference. They always get a lot of blushing down the back in the dark pattern. Just look at the head on that thing. These nice white sides. Just a really cool pattern overall. Really happy with how these jeans come together. Okay. Those are all the cryptic and krypton stuff that I'm gonna show you. Let's go right into clowns. I got, got all clowns from here on out, so bear with me. Okay, this clutch is from a, a pewter, uh, that was a black pastel pewter clown bred to a calico yellow belly hat clown. I'm pretty sure that that's a pewter yellow belly. And then we got this clown. It's got kind of unusual pattern to it on the sides, but I'm not 100% sure if there's yellow belly or calico in this. I've actually produced a few calico clown combos, but I have never produced just a calico clown. I'm pretty sure that this is a pastel yellow belly clown. I think this is the same. This one's got a better chance. I don't know if this one's got yellow belly and I'm just not 100% sure, but I think that one does. And then we got this one. This is a pastel yellow belly calico clown. Now you guys have probably seen, if you watch some of my other videos, you probably have seen the yearling that I showed not all long ago that was so bright yellow, like so much more yellow than this one, at least the, as far as the intensity. And I think that this one will probably end up looking similar to that. Look at the blushing on that. I mean, it almost looks like a killer clown. And the yellow should really come in nicely. The one that I hatched last year, who will hopefully be breeding this fall, really um, 
it really got intense as he grew. Okay. Let's see what else I have in here. Here's a really nice clutch. This is from a Pastel GHI Clown, bred to a Mojave Clown. This one's nice because you can see all of the different combos being that were are able to be produced in that. So that is a clown. And this is a clown. Sometimes I just have to stop and look at these things and, and I just can't believe that I'm able to produce so many of these things. I mean, I remember when I bought my first normal clowns in 2003. That was 17 years ago, actually about 17 and a half years ago now at this point in the summer. Um, but I just can't believe I went from having that one clown male to now I'm producing so many awesome clown combos with it. It's just amazing what a, virtually a couple of decades of hard work will do, but really, really cool. Just like to stop and appreciate these things every once in a while. Okay, here's a Mojave clown. Here's a GHI clown. And here's another GHI clown. You can see nice lighter heads on those. Uh, very different from regular clowns. Here's the one of the regular clowns again. Obviously a very different. Uh, these guys have pretty dark back patterns, but the heads are way different. The GHI clown is going to be pretty critical in a lot of different combos coming up in the future, I believe. So here is a GHI Mojave clown. And here's another one. These are both males too. Um, so I didn't hit on anything. You know, actually now that I'm thinking about it, I had a regular GHI Mojave. I'm sorry, a regular GHI clown breeding this Mojave clown as well. So he must have fathered the clutch because there's no pastels in this clutch. So I don't think, I mean, it's possible that the pastel GHI clown fathered the clutch and I just didn't get any pastels. You know, the, the odds could be against me with that, but that's okay. I kind of wanted this clutch to not have pastel in it anyway. So the cool thing is I have, I produced several GHI Mojave clown females in the past and I have not produced any males, and both of these guys are males. So, wouldn't you know it, one of them is gonna have to stay here. It's one of my favorite darker clown morphs, and I think I've, I've got a lot of plans to put other dark things into this. Hopefully you'll see some of that yet this year. Okay, looking at those guys, get some other stuff out. Okay, I have two clutches to show you here. Both of them are from a pastel bongo het clown male bred to two different females. So this one is from pastel bongo het clown to clown. And I got a het. And here's a pastel het. These videos would probably go a little bit quicker if I didn't show all the more common stuff that you guys have seen a million times, but I've got the whole clutch together. These guys just shed and I'm gonna set them up individually today. So got them all in the container together. So here's a regular clown. I'm just gonna take these two out of the way. Here's a pastel bongo het clown. And another pastel bongo het clown. And then this is the only visible clown I got in the clutch. Or no, actually, well, I got the regular clown too, but the only clown combo I got in the clutch. This is a bongo clown. I really think there's a ton of potential with the bongo mixed in with clown as well. Um, I've got a lot of plans. Hopefully this year yet I'll be able to make a few different kind of bongo clown combos. And I've got a couple more to show you here, actually. I'm just going to leave him out here. So I've got some others to show you. This next clutch is from pa the same pastel bongo hat clown bred to a killer clown. 
So you know, because it's a killer clown, everything's gonna have pastel in it. And there's a pastel. And here is a super pastel. You can see the nice light washed out head and washed out blushing spots in the body compared to that one. Here is a killer clown. Here is a pastel bongo clown. Look at the nice busy pattern on that one compared to the killer clown. And then here is a bongo killer clown. Look at the difference between those two. I hope to get killer clowns to eventually have more pattern to them, a pattern that sticks around longer. A lot of killer clowns tend to fade as they get older. Throw some dark jeans in there, see if we can get the, the pattern to, to stay a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna move this killer clown out of the way here. So let's go like this. Bongo clown, pastel bongo clown, Bongo Killer Clown. Those are the first and only one Bongo Clowns that I have so far, but hopefully we've got a lot more coming this year. I've got, I probably should have another two or three clutches hatching this year. And I know this guy's a male, this guy's a male. I believe that one's a female. I'm gonna keep one of these two. I'm not sure which one yet. And you guys know me, I'll probably end up keeping her too. I'll probably, I'll sell, at one of these two I'll sell. I'm not really sure which one yet. So anyway, pretty cool, lots of potential, and pretty cool in its own right. I mean, I really don't know. I mean, I've got plans to make this even better, but I like it just on its own too. Really cool, the way that nice thick dark stripe with broken up with light pattern in there. And just a cool color too. I hope the camera's picking this up, but Really nice rich browns, kind of almost, I don't know, coppery looking, a little reddish, especially that head. So cool. Okay. Got two more snakes to show you. One of them isn't super uncommon and the other is extremely uncommon. So I bred, this clutch is from a banana cinnamon double hat genetic stripe clown to a banana cinnamon double hat genetic stripe clown. And I did produce a, uh, a pewter in this clutch. Um, this wasn't a very big clutch. This was a, from a pretty small female. I produced a pastel, uh, wait, what did I get here? Actually, a pewter is the only one, I, was, I only got three eggs out of this clutch, so it's pretty small. Uh, three, there were three infertile eggs and three fertile eggs. So this one is a little cinnamon clown. It's actually the first normal cinnamon clown I've ever produced. Um, I have been producing black pastel clowns for several, several years though, uh, no cinnamons. And there are some definite differences, most notably in the head color. Okay, so cinnamon clowns aren't super uncommon. Uh, actually, not real common, but, you know, fairly. But that's the first one that I produced. This is the Pastel Banana Genetic Stripe Clown. So I'm hoping to hit on more of these this year. I want to produce uh, some one that's not banana and I'm hoping to produce one without pastel as well. But I mean, look at the, look at that pattern. There's so much potential in genetic stripe clowns. I, I'm glad that I produced this one. He's a male, he'll stay here. I'll put him to work in another, well, I don't know if he'll make it for this upcoming breeding season. He just hatched and he's not real big either. He's probably only like 55 grams. Um, so I don't think he'll make it to breed this upcoming season, maybe, maybe late in the, uh, 2021 season, but at any rate, he'll be, he'll be good to go at some point and, uh, should do a good job for me. 
All right. Well, that's all I have to show you. Hope you got your clown fix for the day. Uh, I've certainly got a lot more hatching yet. I've got a lot of clowns hatching right now, a lot of new and kind of unique combos coming out. So I'll show those in an upcoming video. I've also got some really cool hypo stuff, some really interesting pie things too coming up. So I promise I won't show all clown stuff. Even though I produce a lot of it, I won't show all clowns in every video. Probably see a couple of clowns in every video though. Uh, but anyway, if you want to see what I have available, make sure to check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be back to show you some more stuff very, very soon.